In this question, we have a toy rocket with a mass of 159 grams and a volume of 135 centimeters cubed. So the first thing we can do is enter those two known values into our variable list here. So we know the mass is 159 grams. We can check as we go, it's correct. And we know the volume is 135 centimeters cubed, so we can add that in. Okay, the third variable is density, which we're not given in the question. We need to calculate that. So let's head over to our reference sheet and have a look for our equation for density. Here it is. Density is mass divided by volume. So let's write down that equation. And we can put in our numbers. So the M is mass, which is 159 grams, divided by the volume, which was 135 centimeters cubed. And if we put that into our calculator, we will get out a density of 1.18 grams per centimeters cubed. So we can enter that into our variable list here. We got 1.18 grams per centimeters cubed. Awesome, so we've done the main part of this question, which was calculating the density. Next, we need to decide what material the toy rocket is made from. So we're gonna have a look down on the right here at our table. And we're looking for something with a density of 1.18 grams per centimeters cubed. So having a look at our table, we can see here acrylic is 1.18 grams per centimeters cubed. So our rocket is gonna be made from acrylic. So let's check that out here. Wonderful. And then last step, we asked if the toy rocket was placed in water, would it float or sink? So again, let's have a look at our table. So water is here in our table. Water has a density of one gram per centimeters cubed. We can see the density of acrylic, 1.18, is greater than the density of water and therefore acrylic objects are going to sink in water because they have a higher density. So if we have a look over at our answer here, we think it's going to sink. Let's check. Wonderful. In this question we have a rectangular prism and we're told it has a volume of 161 centimeters cubed and that it's made of silver. So again, first let's add in our known values into our variable list. So we're told the volume is 161 centimeters cubed. So let's add that in here. Okay, we're not given any other numbers, but we're told it's made of silver. So let's go have a look in our table down here. Silver, last thing in the table on the solid side, has a density of 10.49 grams per centimeters cubed. So we can add that in our variable list up here, 10.49 grams per centimeters cubed. Okay, awesome. So we've got our two known variables. We're trying to find M, the mass. So let's go back to our equation sheet. And again, we're looking for the density equation that has density, mass, and volume in it, which is gonna be this one here. Density equals mass divided by volume. So let's go ahead and write that equation down. In this question, we need to find the mass. So we're gonna to have to rearrange our equation. So I'm gonna multiply by V on both sides of my equation since I've got mass divided by volume right now. I'm gonna multiply by V on both sides. and my Vs cancel out on the right-hand side. So that gives me my equation of mass equals density times volume. Awesome, so now I can just put in my numbers. So our density was 10.49 grams per centimeters cubed, which was the density of silver, multiplied by our volume given in the question, which was 161 centimeters cubed, 
putting that in my calculator, I get a mass of 1,689 grams. So let's pop that into our variable list at the top. We've got 1,689 grams for our mass. Wonderful, so we've done the calculation. Final question is asking, if the rectangular prism was placed in gasoline, would it float or sink? So let's take a look down at our table. Gasoline is here in our table. It has a density of 0 0.71 grams per centimeters cubed. Silver, which is what the object is made of, has a density of 10.49 grams per centimeters cubed. So we can see, see silver is a lot more dense than gasoline. So as a result, the object is going to sink since it's more dense than the liquid that it's in. So we can finally enter that over here, sink. So in these questions, our first step is to look at what we're given in the question and make sure we write down those variables in our variable list. Once we have our two known variables, we can find our density equation rearrange that if we need to and use it to calculate our unknown variable and then finally we can look at comparing the density of the object and the liquid that it's in in order to figure out if the object's going to float or sink.